38 after the hour. Welcome back. Frost is a common sight in North Dakota, but did you know that temperatures don't have to be freezing for frost to appear on your window uh, windshield? Rather, Well, uh, new this morning, meteorologist Amber Wheeler is here to tell us how that works. It's this week's Weather Wise. Amber? Well, Tim, it probably goes against everything we've been taught, right? How can ice form when the temperature is above 32 degrees? We've already seen it happen, and we'll see it happen again before fall ends. And it comes down to what's called heat capacity. Let me explain. When the sun sets, the atmosphere cools, and so do objects like your car. The car has what's called a low heat capacity, at least the outside does, which means it can't hold heat for very long when the sun sets. Metal has a lower heat heat capacity than the surrounding atmosphere so it will cool faster than the surrounding air. This is why the temperature can be 36 degrees, the air temperature, and the temperature of the car, the metal, can be 32 degrees. Then you factor in the moisture source, the dew point. This is the temperature where the dew starts to form. As the temperature cools at night, it cools to the dew point and this makes for saturated air and that's when dew forms. You can see the temperature here in red, the dew point in green, and this is saturation when when they meet together. If the temperature is 32 degrees or colder, that's when frozen dew forms. Of course, we know the car would be at that point, even if the surrounding air is above freezing. This scenario happens quite a bit in the fall. And if you're looking for a quick way to get rid of that pesky frost, here's a quick tip. Prepare a third of a cup of water and mix it with two thirds of a cup of rubbing alcohol. Spray it on the windshield and you'll see the frost just melt away. The reason why the alcohol doesn't freeze easily. In fact, it would take a temperature of 128 degrees below zero to freeze. So when you spray this mixture on the frost, it melts the frost right away instead of freezing. And if you would like to take a few more tips with you, a few more frost likes, life hacks, if you will, uh, when it comes to your car, head to our website, kxnet.com. Tim, I'm sure that being a homeowner now and having a garage is probably amazing for you because you don't have to scrape all that frost in the morning anymore. Yeah, do I sense uh, some hot Hostility in your voice there? Uh, <laughs> it could be little, the cold. A little it could jealousy. Be a, could be a little hostility. <laughs> could be the cold. I don't uh, know. I'll say this. I'm trying not to take <laughs> it for granted that uh, I don't have frost to scrape anymore. Of course, I do have a, a, a you know driveway to shovel. So, Very true. There's sort know, of the, the pros and cons The give here. and take, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was interesting. And it actually takes me back to science class. I think I remember learning that about metal and how it cools more quickly. Not everything um, in the atmosphere cools the same. Right. Everything has a different heat capacity. Okay, very good. We all learned something today. Thank you, Amber. Well, still plenty of news and weather ahead on Good Day Dakota, including...